Hello viewers, this, this is Ilya Saab Software Company and I am your instructor of this project school management systems In previous video we have created the database uh, let me open the my group uh, SQL server 2014 and then I am connecting it with the uh, also you can remove this it's the local so it's also connected with dot so now press the dot and then connect this now open the database folder expand this so here you can get uh, the uh, database you can find here your database which is this one and then click this and open the ERD diagram <coughs> so this is the ERD diagram and also this is the tables so now um, in this video we are creating the uh, UI application for this projects uh, which is uh, we are creating an ASP.NET MVC um, <coughs> we are using MVC 5 uh, and uh, in this project we are using Visual Studio 17 uh, so now uh, if you want to uh, download the Visual Studio 17 so now you go to the uh, Microsoft site and download the Visual Studio 17 community version not the professional home and other because these uh, versions are paid so uh, this is the free versions community version so now uh, download this and sign in your ID and Visual Studio 17 community or Visual Studio 19 community which one you want to use just download and install then I am <coughs> so list may open the Visual Studio 17 so Visual Studio 17 write the Visual Studio 17 and search um, and search and you will get the Visual Studio 17 so right click here and print to print from taskbar print to print to taskbar Again, it is already pinned on my taskbar so that's why here is unpinned from taskbar so now uh, just click on uh, pin uh, for, uh, pin to taskbar and then this is the Visual Studio so let's me I'm uh, click uh, from taskbar on Visual Studio so let's me click if you are clicking so now here the Visual Studio 17 is opening so now um, come to the uh, file and now new and then project <coughs> sorry this is here you can find the viewer so now click on web then select asp.net application not the core one so now asp.net web application dot framework so write the the project name which is the school mgt manage management ui create directory for a solution so now here we are uh, change the name of the solution school management system this is the ui and this is the, the solution so solution name is school management system so now school management system and now click on ok button and now select the 4.6 framework and then uh, press ok button <coughs> so here uh, use the empty one and select the mvc and then press ok button uh, sorry we cannot here specify the path to these projects so now close the solution and then again go to new and projects and write them uh, school management UI and paste here the path where you want to store the application you have to create and also here the school and then system and then press ok button and then empty and select the MVC and press ok button so here this is the project is created now in properties and references okay so now right click here and controller folder 
controller and add the controller empty controller add and write the name is home and then press add button okay and then right click here add the view and then press add button just right view and add and must be checked the use as a layout page then press add button the internet must be connected it is required okay in 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 time of creating your uh, applications in time of creating uh, first time creating the application and first time create the controller so an internet must 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 be connected because some file is downloading in the time of scaffolding creating initializing debugging so internet is very important for developer because without internet developers cannot do their work properly so now <coughs> home and then go to the uh, app start and route configure so here uh, write the home and index it is already done so now let's me run the application Now here uh, you are loading some assemblies. Wait until uh, these assemblies are load are loading. It's take some time, maybe one minute or two minutes, but it uh, be taken one time, not uh, again and again. So once that's finished, sir, now open your browser. Now stop the debugging and run again. Sometime it's like now take long time, so then stop and then run again. Here is uh, loading some assemblies. Just one time this is complete, so then cancel this one, and then this is to be ready. So now here the application is working good. Means without error here. You no one no errors so now right click so so this is the UI and now uh, we uh, now we are using here the we are following the architectures projects tier architecture so now here we are using the two tier architectures so let's me create the another projects for uh, database layer and uh, and three tier architecture we have uh, database layer uh, business layer and the UI so, but and here we are using the two tier architecture. So we have two layer. So in this projects we have two layers. The one layer is using for the database layer, and the second one is using for the UI, which is used for the user interactions. You and this and this UI layers we have, we are doing some designing for the user to interact uh, uh, with with this projects through this projects using the UI. So let me create the database layer so database layer is the class library so now select the <coughs> visual c sharp visual c sharp or uh, okay or maybe select the desktop one maybe visual c sharp or desktop one select the class library dot net framework not dot net standard okay so now select the class library dot net framework and now write the name here is the database layer database layer and select uh, the path is already selected so now uh, click on the ok button okay so now remove this class delete 
and then uh, rebuilds uh, again <coughs> come to here and uh, write the uh, the references and add uh, the reference is that is project select the project solution and select the database layer so the assembly is added to this ui layer means this layer is accessing this layer through this uh, reference so now right click on database layer and add the uh, uh, data model here uh, entity data model here so now the new select on new item means well, i uh, i repeat once again right click on database layer click uh, i add and then new item uh, data and select the edu entity data model and uh, enter the uh, name of the model here so now uh, school management db model so let me click add button so now press the add button and now here uh, select the uh, ef designer from database because we are using the database first approach of the entity uh, the entity framework database first approach so uh, means we are uh, we are creating our data model from database so now select the ef means entity framework designer from database so now select this option and click next then new connections go to here and copy the server name which is here which is this so now copy this server name and click here and come to the select the or enter database name so here you can also enter the name or select from the list so now click on this uh, uh, little button arrow down arrow and now select your database from this list this is our database and then check it test connection and then uh, advance it so uh, advance uh, press the advance button so here you can see the data connections the, the connection the, the connection string yeah, this is the our data source means this is the server name initial catalog is our database and integrate security is true because here we have no using this server and user password username username and password so now <clears throat> because we are using window authentication so here is the cell we are selected to the window authentication now press the ok button and then uh, click on next and this is the entity school man management database entities so this is our connection string name which is which is present uh, inside in this folder okay so now press and select the entity number six and then next and select the entire database now click on this you can select all the tables and now press the finish button <coughs> here uh, include the from wiki columns and the model so uh, yes check and also this this and then finish So now uh, down the scroll 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 bar. So here you can get the entity monthly entity. Uh, here you can get the data model diagram. So now simply right click on this uh, diagram, uh, this uh, this and then uh, tab and then uh, click on save school management DB model. <coughs> okay so now uh, go to the app configure and copy the connection string so now this is the connection string okay so <coughs> means all the uh, entities all the databases is exist through this connection string so now copy this and also paste inside this inside this tag so now enter and paste here the connection string and then one time rebuild and then go to the uh must be at the reference here okay don't leave this and then right click on controller and add this in controller and select the mvc5 controller with views using it in the framework and press add button and now write the user type table user 
type table so now here the user type table uh, is access and now select your connection name uh, database entities and now click uh, on add button we, we, we are discuss these points in later sessions later rules so now click the add button here is installing the net get some packages it's installing one time not again and again so now here first open the references now here you can get the you can see these are uh, installed here the framework servers and also the net get packages which is uh, came so now uh, one time rebuilt and then uh, run the google is express google chrome means run debug run the application And now copy the um, user tables means the controller name here this is the controller name so now copy the user type tables this is not this is control this is controller name user type table so now copy this cancel this now copy the name and go to here and just type the name here this and then write the their action name and now press enter button so now here you can see this create new so now here we are writing the uh, uh, accountant create account then <coughs> operators um, principal create so here you can see here the, these are the <coughs> account and operator and these are the user types so now we have done the application creation which is work perfectly no error without no issues so <coughs> must be created and the time of creating your project must be connected to the internet because this is where this is the primary uh, requirements of a developer and without uh, internet so cannot do our tasks properly or completely without internet uh, so now no, no developer so now <coughs> in this uh, tutorials we have created the ui means uh, initialize uh, and create the uh, projects uh, applications for our database completely um, so now subscribe our channels and also click on bell buttons so see you in next video